Hello folks, my name is Jack Rubinacci and today I'd like to show you how I record my vocals into an iPad. So this is part of a really exciting series of videos that I'm doing together with the Studio Rats where we're asking the question, is it possible to record and mix an entire band using just the iPad? Because of lockdown, we can't all come together and be in a recording studio. So we thought it'd be an interesting time to ask the question, could you do it with just an iPad? I promise you that. So the microphone I'm using today is the JZ Black Hole 2. It's actually a new microphone for me. It's really well built and very versatile. Just sounds really good on a lot of different things. So my microphone is running into my sound card, which is this Steinberg UR22. It's iOS compatible, so it's just plug and play with an iPad, which is fantastic. I've got my mic input here on channel one. I've got the gain at about 1 p.m., so I'm not running it too hot. Here are my headphones. They are attached to an extension cable so I can run across the other side of the room and record over there. Uh, my sound card then runs into my Atola USB 3 hub power hub uh, and then that runs into the camera adapter so that the audio can run into the iPad that way. So today I'm doing something slightly differently. I normally run my vocal chain through my BAE 1073 preamp and I run the output at about 2 p.m. and that runs into my warm audio 76 with a very low input, so not really much compression at all, with a fast release and a slow attack. But I like so much what I'm hearing from the Steinberg sound card into the iPad that I'm completely bypassing these today. The app that I'm using to record my vocals today is Cubasis 3. I really like this app because it reminds me a lot of a traditional door on a computer like Logic, for example, with the tracks in a row like that. I'm sort of familiar with that outlay. When I record vocals, I like a little bit of compression on the way in just to tame a few dB. And I also like to send my vocal to a bus so that I can have a little bit of reverb. I just have maybe 25%, 24, 25%, just so that it sounds a bit more exciting as I record. I was born beside the river, but the river was a lie. Cause it never reached the ocean, it just taught me how to fly. When the magic of deception was the pen that wrote my name Cause I learned to disappear To just vanish from the frame So once I've done three or four different vocal takes I can then go in and edit it and do a vocal comp which basically means taking the best of each vocal take and making one audio file and then I can send that audio file over to Paul who adds all the magic he adds the reverb, EQ delays, basically mixes it and makes it sound a lot better. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see the other videos in the series where Paul's mixing guitars, drums, recording, all that sort of thing, then I'll leave links above so you can go and check those videos out. If you did enjoy this, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram and you can hear my music on Spotify. But for now, I wanna say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.